everybody, welcome to Two Point Campus. I hope you're having a good one because I am so excited to be jumping in and checking out the follow-up to Two Point Hospital, which itself was a love letter to one of my all-time favorite games, Theme Hospital. It's wild to me that, at least to my knowledge, no one's really done this yet. Yeah, there's been different games that tackle universities and schools, but no one has really taken that theme hospital formula, or in this case, the two-point hospital formula, and applied it to anything else. That silly, goofy, over-the-top, tongue-in-cheek, self-aware thing that theme hospital and two-point have going on, I've never seen that applied to a school setting. If it has been done, let me know. But I'm so excited to be jumping into some two-point campus. Let's get right to it. Let's start building an academic empire and see what happens. I'm Albert Crank, your own personal advisor, and I'm here to help. You may not have any experience as a campus administrator, but if the people at Freshly County College are eager to give you a chance, then I'm not sure what that says about them. But hey, let's head to Freshly Meadows and get started on your academic empire and i guess this is where we begin we have freshly meadows right here this countryside college has low expectations and a nice canal it's the perfect place to start your career starting funds half a million dollars sounds fantastic to me let's go ahead and get right to it and here we are and we do have a lovely canal right at the back there that's actually kind of great oh apparently i can build over there at some point as well that's really cool Okay, well, our campus is going to be running a Scientography course. Let's start by building a science lab. Okay, we have our build menu in the bottom left. We have a science lab right here. It needs to be five by five. So let's just go ahead and build it right in this corner because that looks like it is, and it absolutely is, a little five by five space right there. That seems absolutely perfect to me. So let's go ahead and figure out where the door is going to go. I'm thinking right in the corner seems like a pretty good spot we have a science board which is required to complete the room we have a science hub which honestly this giant thing can go right about there that's pretty good to me and then we have other options as well we have a whiteboard which honestly i think a classroom kind of needs a, a whiteboard somewhere we have a science shelf which hold on is unquestionably flammable okay well I think in Two Point Campus, we have to have that. If it's unquestionably, unquestionably, I got the word right the first time. If it's unquestionably flammable, then yeah, we need one. Let's go ahead and get the room done. It is a level two science lab. I don't actually know. What is it? It is a level two science lab. Okay, I'll take it. Room capacity is eight and it has all available courses but i can actually go in and specify which courses can be there that's kind of cool i can pick the room up i can save and update templates i can close the room i can look at the room's timetable as well that's so cool i'm sure all of this will make sense at some point but i'm just i'm really enjoying that this is familiar in terms of controls but yet the setting and everything i'm doing is so different this is so cool anyway we need to hire a teacher to run our first scientography class so we have Merrill Mills, 28,000. You have Scientography. It's going to take everything in me to not constantly say Scientology. But Scientography, we'll go ahead and hire you. We'll drop you in there. And now we are, we have everything we need to run our Scientography course. Okay. When I'm ready, select start next year to welcome our first year of students. Oh my God. Okay. So we've started year one. We need to complete a Scientography class. Classes are scheduled for each course throughout the year. Make sure there are enough rooms, teachers, and equipment to keep your classes running. And we have students arriving right now. Here we go. Wolfric Half Moon is here. We have Willow Weaver. We have Piper McGuffin. Interesting choice of uh, everything. Fair enough. We have Kensington Codswallop and Felix Colossus. Fantastic. Now, while I was waiting on these guys showing up, wait, what are you? Oh, that's my teacher. I went ahead and built myself a fountain because I thought it looked really cool. And I put some benches in here because I think what's going to happen is while the students are waiting, they're going to want to sit outside the room, right? So 
I figured this was a pretty good idea. And I'm also noticing at the bottom of my screen, I have this schedule thing going. So I'm assuming, hold on a minute, what is this? So this is event scheduled. It is in the science lab and it's scientography. And then we have more scientography and more scientography, more scientography. So we have scientography throughout the entire year, which is fine by me. And we also have students that are sitting and chilling. Oh, hold on a minute. Look at that. Students are in their very first class. Who knows what will happen? I know. That's actually kind of cool. That's actually really cool. I don't know that I love them just sort of standing around, but whatever. Let's go ahead and speed the game up a little bit and see what happens. So they're going for a walk. They're using the machine. That one's firing a laser. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. As students learn, they gain experience points or XP, which will increase their academic level. This guy's using a hammer. Not bad. Oh, we got some money as well. I don't mind if I did. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 don't, don't. Oh God, why did you drink? <laughs> why did you drink that? Why would you do this? <laughs> I can't oh my God. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I'm loving this. I've got to be honest. I am so, I don't know. I, I don't, you know, when you can hear, I feel like I can hear myself smiling. I just love how silly this is. I really do. I'm so excited just to see where this game goes and see all the craziness that's going to come. Uh, they did it. The students passed their first class. Sadly, they didn't do all that well. It seems a number of them were distracted by one need or the other. A student that has everything they need will be more happy, less distracted, and be able to focus on their studies in an enthusiastic and cheerful haze. Okay. A student's needs, such as their thirst or toilet comfort, will affect their overall happiness. Happy students perform better in classes and earn more XP. Take a look at our students and see what we can do to improve the campus. You. What do you need? You're tired and you need a crap. Okay. The key to campus hospitality is to remember the three R's, which is relax, rest, and relieve. Two of those things might be the same thing, but it does sound convincing. So let's build a dormitory and a bathroom to keep people comfortable. Okay. We can do all of that. I'm wondering if I can get away with it in a relatively small space. We have a lot of space to play with here. But I wonder if I can get away with something, you know, in a relatively small space. Can I do like a little little bathroom right there? You know, uh, something like this. And we'll do three cubicles across here. We can throw some sinks sort of against the, uh, against the wall. Something like that. And we'll throw a hand dryer or something like that. That seems okay. It's not exactly a luxurious bathroom. But we could if we, <laughs> you know. I don't know that I want to do that window. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know that I want to do that. Uh, how do I get rid of something? I think I got rid of it. Okay. Yeah, we're not, <laughs> we're not going to do the window. That's a terrible idea. All right. So that's a bathroom. And then in terms of a dormitory, what exactly do we need for that? Also, is the game, the game is running. Okay. So a dormitory it needs to be two by two. It needs a door. It needs a wardrobe and it needs a bed. So I could do a dormitory right there, I guess. It's a little weird, but sure, we'll do that. We can get ourselves a black frame bed. We can get ourselves a brown frame bed. And we can change the general styles here. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of want to go with the, the pride bed. I think that's pretty cool. Looking for a pride bed right there. We'll get ourselves a wardrobe and we'll throw it, I guess, sort of in that corner. We can get ourselves, we have a door, so that's everything we need. But I do want to make this place a little bit nicer. So can I throw a plant right there? I absolutely can. I can throw a notice board. You know what? I'm going to do a notice board right here. And I'm going to do a desk, if I can, right at the base of the bed, which I totally can. That looks so good. Oh, it's a little bit out from the wall, though. Can I get it right against the wall? I absolutely can. And I can get a two-point banner right at the back of that. That looks so good. That's such a good little dormitory. I'm so good at this game. There we go. We have ourselves a dormitory. We unlocked a shower room and we've got a bunch of students going to the dormitory, which is not weird at all. I mean, I know there'd be shared dorms, but this isn't really what I had in mind with shared dorms. Wait, what the hell? Hello? 
Wait, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Oh. Um. Right. That's that. <laughs> not really what I expected, but okay. Uh, did you hear that? I think our students might be hungry. Traditionally, campuses offer a range of food and drink to, you know, sustain life. Let's add some vending machines. So we want to change. We want to place a cheesy gubbins machine and a burp machine. I can do that. I can totally do that. So cheesy gubbins is right here, and the burp machine is right there. That should keep everybody fed. That should let everybody sleep. They can go and crap. And now we need a janitor, apparently. Okay. If it were up to the students, I'm sure we'd all be living in our own filth. Luckily, they have very little say in the matter. Let's hire a janitor and place a bin to keep things nice and tidy. All right. Well, I would absolutely like to build a bin uh, right here. And that should give us somewhere for everyone to drop their garbage. And in terms of a janitor, we have Tony Field. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a janitor. We have Rich Dross, Linda Drum, and Jamie Lynn Bigley. Oh, boy. And Normal. I'm not even going to try. Uh, Normal is pretty good, though. Happy Thoughts. We've got Aerodynamics. And we've got Maintenance. That's pretty good. I think I think Normal is, is who we're going to hire here. Let's go ahead and get you and drop you in. And I have to know. I have to know. Can I change your uniform oh my god i can oh i totally can i love that this is a thing i really really do i love 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 that we can do all of these customizations assistants what so teachers oh assistants are a type of staff never mind okay let's see how the students do in the next class let's absolutely do that where is my where's my teacher though I have no... <laughs> that's a very good question. Wait, are you teaching? You are a teacher. Okay. Can I change your outfit so we can give navy, orange, yellow gowns? We can have just different colored gowns the whole way down. That is so cool. I also wasn't aware that we had a lecture, but yeah, we have a bit of a lecture. That's... Oh, I love it. I really... I love that they have, like, different rooms to go to as well. Okay. So we need to pass a Scientography class with a grade of C+. We can probably do that. Doesn't seem that difficult. Oh, I think we did it. We got a C plus. Well done. The students look smarter already. The better they do, the more money you'll have to fund the campus. Who's smart now? Yes, you receive tuition fees from all students enrolled in courses at the campus, as well as a bonus for how much XP they're earning. All right, I like that. Satisfying student needs is just one way to improve our grades. Next on the agenda is a spot of studying. Luckily, the students have just been given their first assignment. Completing assignments is a great way for students to earn XP away from the classroom, though it looks like they need some new facilities. Check in your inbox to see what they need. Okay, so what do they need? They need a library. Okay, so... They are requesting a library, 11,900, four people agree. I don't care if they agree. I'll build a library. I don't care if the students agree that it's a good idea or not. Didn't ask for their feedback. What do they think this is, a democracy? It's a, it's a college, not a democracy. Get out of here. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and put a door here. And what is this? This is a library reception, okay. Where do I want to put this thing? I actually like the idea of putting it like here. So it's like facing the door. You come in, you've got reception right there and we can do, you know, bookshelves sort of next to reception. We can do little computer cubicles sort of back here. I, I don't know. This doesn't really seem like enough space at all for this kind of thing, but I don't know. Let's, let's do a computer cubicle there. And that's apparently everything we need, but I want to do like two of these. I think two of them sort of like this. Oh, wait, no, that's not a computer cubicle at all. Okay, uh, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this, actually? Uh, what about this for a normal sort of study? Wait, what? Is, what there's three of them? So computers, a textbook, and study. Oh, my God, okay. So we'll do, we'll do two study ones. We'll do two computer cubicles next to each other if I can i think i can pretty sure i can this is something like this oh that's now too far out from the wall oh my god oh god positioning on these is gonna be a no i want that one 
I want I want it there. Now they're next to each other. And now I want this one. And I want it to be next to the other one as well. Okay, this is this is probably good enough for a library. I went a little bit overboard with this thing, but I think it'll be pretty good. And apparently it needs an assistant to run it. So let's get Winston Noir. That seems like a pretty good name. Although, to be fair, Richard Bulge or Montgomery Blancmange. We'll go with Winston Noir. That seems like a like a pretty good bet. Oh, I don't like his hair, but eh, who am I to judge? There we go. We got ourselves a library, and now we need to complete an assignment in the library. So are you all heading there to do that? They absolutely are. Some of our students are completing an assignment in the library. Completing an assignment is a great way to earn XP outside of the classroom. Lovely. So they're just sort of wandering around a little bit, just looking at everything. I mean, that's fair enough, I suppose. Uh, there are two bookshelves, guys. You could go to a different one, but I mean, just feel free to just stand there and queue up at that single bookshelf. There you go. Now you're getting it. And there we go. We completed the assignment. I think I saw an A in there as well. Now, let's see how the students do in their next class, which is coming up. It's going to be in the science lab, and we need to pass with a B. Okay. Yeah, I can probably do that. And I've got something in my inbox as well. So what is this? December year one. Okay, so I did make a profit. I'll take it. And also that is my inbox. Yes, I know. Right. So the class is going on. We should have a bunch of students coming by to do some learning. So hopefully we make money. Oh, or well, hopefully they do good and get an education totally not about the money and what do we do i think we did get a passing grade i think we did get a b we completed the thing yeah we got a b right there you students have gone from a c grade or gone from c grade chumps to b grade brain heads let's recap how you did it shall we okay so we educate nurture and expand i understand i, I know how to do that so what do you want me to do now Congratulations, you've earned some kudosh for completing objectives. Spend it to unlock new items as well as staff outs, outfits and interior design options. Right. So interior design options include beige fusion, dark neon, and then for the walls or the floors rather, we can do all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's not too bad. Uh, the campus building itself, we can change it to be a variety of different colors. We can do green and, and brown on the floors. I think I'm going to pass on that. To be quite honest with you, I think what I really want is to give my my staff a bit of a, a uniform, right? So if I go into personnel management, I go to staff and I go to uh, Merrill Mills, I want to just go ahead and grab you. You're in, the, you're in the toilet at the moment. I do apologize. But I want to give you a different gown. I don't know what one to give you necessarily. The yellow one's high vis, and that's funny to me. The stripy red one, the stripy black one. What about a stripy black gown? What does that look like? That's actually kind of hideous. You look like a referee. I'm not gonna lie. You look you look like a referee. I sort of regret this. <laughs> I do. I do sort of regret this. I might give you the high vis one. Or the navy one. Or that, wait, are there two navy ones? There's like a blue navy and then there's like a proper dark navy. Give me the dark navy. That's pretty cool looking, actually. I'll go with that. All right, well, fair enough. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what we got. All right, so what do we need to do? Finish your first year on campus, get my staff happiness up, get five staff members and build a staff room. All right. So let's go ahead and have a look and see what we can do here. So a shower room, that's interesting. What exactly does it do for us? It improves hygiene. Okay, it has to be two by one. And it is a character building co-ed nightmare. Yeah, that checks out. Okay, uh, <laughs> where am I going to build this? Where where am I going to build this? Do I want to build it over this way? Not really. I could build it up there. I feel like it should be near the dormitory and the, the bathrooms. But I don't know. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it here and see what this ends up being. So shower cubicle. Oh, so it's like bathrooms, right? So we'll do some shower cubicles. We'll do a door right here. We can do towels. Oh man, this this seems like a 
This seems like a whole thing. <laughs> seems like a whole thing. We got partition walls as well. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Soap poster. I don't know that I like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get the soap poster. We'll put it right there. Um partition wall. So I can't really place it there. Can I put it like here? That's kind of cool that that's a thing. I like that a lot, actually. All right, and then give me a give me like a plant for the uh, for the corner. And that seems all right. I don't dislike this at all. We got a we got a sink. We got towel racks. That seems fine. Oh, look at it! That wall is actually really really cool. Okay. So that should improve things. Oh, I like that it frosts the glass automatically as well. That's such a cool detail. I mean, it's still very, very see-through from the outside. Um, interesting that it seems to be one way frosted. I'm not sure how that works, but sure. Let's build a staff room as well. Uh, wait, student lounge? Oh my God. There's like a lot of stuff apparently. Okay. Um, staff room. What does it need to be? Three by two. Okay. So what if I build like a four by four staff room? That seems like a good idea to me. So we'll do a door here and then we have some choices to make. It actually doesn't really need anything else in it, but we will give it some stuff. Uh, we'll give it, you know, some, some cubby holes, right? We'll do, uh, we'll do this. We'll give it, uh, we can give it a partition, which actually, to be quite honest, I feel like a good staff room probably should have a partition. So the door opens and you can't see straight into the staff room. That seems like it would be a good idea. And then a dartboard. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I love it. Ooh, a purple rug as well. What is this? A snack table? Hold on. I've got like a decent amount of kudosh. I, I like the idea of a snack table and a tea table. Give me both of those. I love them. As well as, I don't know, maybe a TV. TV doesn't seem like a bad idea. Give me, give me that TV as well. And give me, give me the purple rug. And then what else can I get? I can get some, get some of these. I can get a sky painting. I like the idea of some paintings. I like the idea of this record rug. I'm not going to get anything else, but yeah, let's, uh, let me get myself a snack table. Because a snack table sounds like a wonderful idea. Uh, we'll go ahead and place it right there. We'll go ahead and place the tea table right there. We'll get ourselves a nice lamp in the corner. We'll go for a, uh, a red base on the lamp, I think. That looks pretty good to me. And then for everything else, I mean, we're going to need a sofa. So let's go for a nice red sofa. Seems pretty good. Uh, I don't think we have a TV. Oh, we do have a TV. I did. I did unlock one. So we'll do a uh, we'll do a sofa right here. We'll do a TV right here. And then I can't change the color of these things, but I can. Oh, I can get a new rug. Let me go for like a green. This is going to look awful. This is actually going to look awful, but I'm right here for it. Uh, give me a coffee table as well. I actually think it looks cozy. I've got to be honest. I, I think it looks, it does look kind of cozy. Uh, we'll get ourselves a nice plant. I guess uh, not right there. Can I get it in here at all? I can sort of get a plant maybe right here. No, that's not really going to be a thing. Okay. We'll do a plant in this corner. We'll get ourselves a staff room notice board, which can go right about here. And I don't really know what else to put in here. I don't think we need another... We're expecting a weed infestation on campus. Oh my god. <laughs> Does that... I think that means exactly what I think it means. <laughs> I think this looks pretty good for a staff room. I went ahead and unlocked a couple of arcade cabinets because they only needed 15 kudosh to be done. So that right there is the staff room. And if that doesn't keep staff happy, I don't know what will, because I imagine that right there will keep staff happy. Now, we need to get more staff members. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire myself another janitor. We'll get Dwayne Masterstroke, and we'll put him right there. My staff are definitely happier as well, which is good. I've also got a bunch of emails. Student Lounge Wanted. I've tried kicking back in every room on campus, but nothing is quite hitting the spot. I think we need a dedicated room for students to hang out, to relax, to lounge. Okay. They want a car booth as well. Okay, well, I can't afford it, so no. And that's my statement where we made a profit. Okay, we'll build a student lounge. I can do that. I can build a student lounge. It needs to be three by three. I'm going to make it three by six. 
because I'm a very, very generous uh, campus administrator. Very, very generous campus administrator. And I'm really liking this whole thing where we do like the wall to sort of divide it a little bit. I think that's that's kind of a cool way to do things. So let's see what we have in here. It doesn't really need much, but we're probably gonna want some counters. And I, let's see. I, I do like the white and the blue. I like this one as well. So let's go ahead and place, let's see. Let's put a, uh, let's, you know what? Let's do the one with the microwave since that would kind of be the priority, I think, for a bunch of students. So microwave and then regular counter, which is out from the wall a little bit, I think, but whatever, and then a sink. Not that this, this will ever get used, but we'll put it right there anyway. And that's, that's, that's decent. I think that's a decent little setup. Uh, we can do a fridge, of course. We'll do a fridge sort of opposite all of this, right about here. And you know what? I actually like the idea of putting the sink maybe next to the fridge would be a better spot for it. So somewhere like right about there for the uh, the sink. And then next to the sink, we can do a bin. So we have all the, the kitchen space right over here in the kitchen space. Uh, I probably could have said that or generally worded that a little bit better, but you get the idea. And this right here, I think is gonna be our student lounge, which is an interesting bit of timing because it's the end of the academic year. Congratulations, you finished the academic year. Let's head to the end of your rewards and celebrate to see how we did. Now this is a little something something, huh? <laughs> this is, that probably means something right there. I should probably know what that means. All right, so we had a 100% pass rate. No one graduated, everyone's continuing. Results were 80%, no dropouts, no one failed, no one was expelled, good. Okay. I'll take it. I didn't get any awards. That's fair enough. Um, huh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but sure. There are a lot of jobs for janitors around campus. Consider hiring some more. I already did. The summer break is the perfect time to prepare for the year ahead. Build facilities, make unsustainable design choices, and bask in last year's glory. Let's expand our range of courses by starting a virtual normality course. Interesting. We also apparently need another Scientography teacher, so... I think I will... We'll go and get Wilbur Pullover. Seems like a pretty good idea. We'll get him, put him right there. And that should keep us good. And now we need to get the virtual normality course. And, ooh. Oh, this is really cool. I like that we can do this. Uh, add a new course, virtual normality. A new era of technology is here, and it's sure to redefine the way you think about goggles. Students can experience being where they're not, like never before. Discover new worlds, or practice tying your shoes, all in the comfort and privacy of the virtual realm. Okay. So I assume this is sort of who it attracts, right? This is sort of the... So it's going to attract the SWAT, the neutral, the class clown, the Pasha, the goth, and the rebel. Okay. It requires virtual normality as a qualification. It's a VR lab, and it has a bunch of assignments, which is pretty cool. And then the course is three years, medium difficulty. Interesting. Okay. A couple of lectures. That's fine. Let's start it. And I like it. Let's confirm it. So we need to get ourselves another lecture theater, which I don't love, I'm gonna be honest, but we also need a VR lab and we need a virtual normality teacher. We could alternatively expand the campus by purchasing another plot. Hmm, we might wanna do that, but for now, let's read. Soon, we'll have another group of students joining the campus. It's important to expand with our ever-growing student body. Buy a new plot for your second year on campus. I feel like I don't need to. You know, I feel like I, I really, I really, really feel like I don't need to. I do want this one, though. I'm going to be honest. I, uh, I like, I, <laughs> I like the idea of buying this plot or, uh, or this one here. This one, I think, would be kind of cool, though. So let's, let's buy it and, uh, let's have students, I guess, cross over the bridge. I, I don't know why I, you know, it would make sense to go for, like, this one or that one since it's real close to the existing place. But let's be honest. This is kind of considerably cooler. Oh, it really is as well. Look at it. 
I like it a lot. Do they just walk across the dirt to get there? They do. They do just walk across the dirt to get there. Okay. Well, fair enough. Before starting a new year, be sure to check any unsolved campus requirements. Okay. I mean, we, I guess, can build... Wait, can I get rid of... Wait, what is this? A low hedge? Can I sell that? I can pick it up. Can I place stuff outside of my campus? Wait a minute. Exterior. <gasps> oh my god, I can! Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know I could do this. Oh, I love it. I can place like trees and stuff like this. I can place it on the path. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, I need to remember that. But for now, the important thing is that I guess I'm probably going to have to build some stuff, right? So we need a lecture theater and a VR lab. Let's get those going as quickly as we possibly can. Now, a lecture theater has to be four by four minimum. I wonder if I can get away with something. What is this? Four by four. What about what about four by five? And then the stage thing goes there. Ooh, that's a little cramped, isn't it? I don't mind it though. I think that'll be okay. We can do the door right about here. And then for extra stuff, we can throw. What is this? Oh, that's that's the auto queue. Interesting. This is a campus poster. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about putting stuff behind this. Assistant needed in library one. Oh god, why is the assistant left? I hate when the assistants just walk away. Oh, we can get surround sound as well. Oh, I love this. I this is the thing I forgot when it came to the the two point games and I guess uh, theme hospital as as well. Just decorating stuff. It's kind of really addictive. I've got to be honest, it's really, really addictive. But there we go. We got a lecture theater. That's totally fine. Let's build ourselves a VR lab as well, which has to be five by four. So it turns out I might, in fact, be a bit of a genius because I can just do this. That's that's pretty good. Now, this thing is going to need a door. It's going to need a VR platform, which is bloody huge. Good Lord. All right, uh, we'll do that. We've got the VR desk, which can go... What does this do? Curved for greater immersion. Okay. I don't know if these actually contribute to anything in terms of making the room better, but we'll place, like, two VR desks, and then what is this? VR headsets. Interesting. Okay, can I put it there? I totally can. And then for the rest of the space, I don't think we need to go too crazy with it. I think this is fine. It's kind of an expensive room, so we'll approve it. Now we just need a teacher for this course. So we have you, and you're also, what is this? Comedic timing. Makes people happy and entertained. Magnus Silver, you are absolutely hired. And now we can start the new academic gear. Not bad at all. Although... Let me go ahead and say that Scientography doesn't use this theater. And let me go ahead and say that Virtual Normality doesn't use this theater. And let's start the new year. Am I sure I want to start with the following courses? Absolutely. Okay. So we need to get people to be happier. And we need to pass a Virtual Normality class with grade C. I think we can do that. Might want a couple of little chairs outside of here, but... I think, I think we can do it. Oh, now this is really interesting. In September, we have some Scientography going on in the lecture theater and the science lab because we have two teachers for that. And we have some virtual normality going on as well. That's pretty cool. So these guys are all coming in to sit down and do that. These guys are in here doing that. These guys are having a rave. That's a lot of students in that dorm. We need more dormitories. And then over here... What have we got going on? Oh my god. That's really cool, man. I love how wacky this stuff is. Then we get you like chilling at the at the super ultra wide. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We leveled up as well. Oh, it's so good. And just like that, we passed virtual normality with a grade C. We got some money from it. Now we just need the general happiness rating to be a little bit higher, because right now it's it's not. It's currently 56%. Happier students learn faster and get better grades. Unhappy students refuse to pay tuition fees. What's wrong with you? What do you need? You are 
a bit hungry, you're a bit tired, you're not very entertained. So it seems like maybe a bathroom over here would be a good idea and maybe some dormitories. And there we go. We have a bathroom. We have two new dormitories, which I'll be honest, I just copied and pasted the existing one, but I'm thinking that's probably going to help us out a little bit because these guys can apparently sprint around like crazy things, but they can also go and actually chill, which is what we're looking for. Uh, they also want apparently hmm so item on campus but student cannot use room okay so students want some benches i put two out there but apparently that wasn't good enough so what if i go ahead and put a park bench right there and right there does that keep them any happier i kind of hope so uh that's my report and records cubicle is not something we're gonna get so we'll just leave it be their happiness is down to 52 percent I don't understand why they're miserable. What do you all need? What do, what do you want? You're tired. You're hungry. You're not very healthy. I mean, are you all using the showers at all? It doesn't seem like you are. All right. Well, that's fine. We can, we can manage. Oh, this place is a total dump over here as well. We probably, we have a bin in there. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me go ahead and get myself another janitor. We'll go for Chloe Fenton. And we'll put Chloe Fenton right in there just to try and clean that place up a little bit and see if that cheers anybody up. Happiness, at the very least, has come up to 55%. 30 students would like better accommodation. Consider building some more dormitories or making the existing ones nicer. Really? We, we have two more dormitories. We have these two right here. Unless they want massive dormitories or just more than they have. I guess that's an option as well. Hey, there we go. We managed to get a single star. We've unlocked the Piazza Land, whatever that was, La Natra. We've unlocked the hot dog kiosk, the coffee kiosk, the whale fountain. We got a lot of kudosh and some money. This must be frightfully exciting for you. The people of Freshly now have a second thing to be proud of to go with their canal. Bully for them. Congratulations, and so on. Still, don't be too complacent. This is only your first campus, and frankly, it shows. All right, all right. Well, there's no need to be rude about it. To be, to be quite frank, there, there's no need to be that rude about it. But you know what? I am kind of happy that we managed to, uh, managed to pull that off. That right there. That's that's got me pretty pleased. We don't really seem to have too much else that we can build. We haven't unlocked anything, as far as I can tell. So we just need more dormitories. We just need more student lounges. Probably more bathrooms, more shower rooms. Probably another library, another staff room wouldn't hurt either. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, this coffee kiosk is really cool looking. I don't know that we necessarily need it, but it is really, really cool looking. I'm also not sure where I'd place it. I feel like... It would make more sense being sort of over here than anywhere else. Or we could place it sort of in sort of this open space. I keep rotating the camera around in, in big circles. I need to stop doing that. I think I'm going to place it here. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and see... What do they want? A love bench? No. Crescent bench? Sure. I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and get a crescent bench. And we'll place it... Uh, I don't know, right there. And we'll do another one right there. That seems kind of nice. Okay, so that gives us a couple of benches. I do... I do want to get the hot dog kiosk. Because I think that's kind of cool. It does need an assistant to run it, though. So, we'll do a couple of kiosks right there. We'll go in to hire staff. We'll go to assistants. You've got comedic timing. So, Raj Vape. Congratulations, you are hired. And... Uh, what else have we got? So you are good in a library. You're fast. We'll go for Cooper Flob. And there you go. So we'll have you guys just run the coffee and the hot dogs. And that should keep the students happy, right? That should keep them in a good place. Now that's a county map. Great work. It now boasts a first-rate academic facility. I am aware that was the open day report. That's a thing that we did. And that's a thing that we did right there as well. Okay. 
I like this. We're also making money. The dormitory rating is terrible, which uh, huh. students will be happier sharing their dormitory with as few people as possible. Build more dormitories and increase their prestige to improve your satisfaction rating. Okay. Can I, in that case, go and say that I want to copy this room and place it there? And then I want to go ahead and copy it again and place it there. And then if I go ahead and copy it again and place it there, we should have fewer students that are now sharing dormitories, which is what we're looking for. We're probably going to need more dormitories. In fact, looking at it, I think what I could probably do is, let's see, this right there. And I can just place a bunch more of these things as well. So one right there, for example, and then another one. We'll just go ahead and slap it right next to it, right there. And that should get us into a good place, right? That's six dormitories. You know, students are still gonna have to share a little bit, but it's definitely better. Okay, it took a few more dormitories, but we got the rating up to 70%. We've done all of the personal goals. We have earned $150,000. Dollars. We just need to get the campus up to level 9, which will increase as I add buildings and facilities, employ a bigger, more qualified faculty, and house a greater number of learned students. Interesting. We are very, very close to level 9, though. Like, ridiculously close. In fact, I think we just did it. We absolutely did. Your campus is certainly better than it was, but I'm left wondering, why didn't you make it this good the first time? Just something to ponder. We got a statue. Okay. So to level up and get the final star, we need to get a course to level four. We need 10 A grade classes and we need to get 10 students to graduate. That might take a little while. I'm gonna be honest. That might that might take a hot minute to, uh, to do, but we can probably do it. I'm not saying I'm gonna do it right now. I'm not saying that at all, because I do want to see what the rest of this game has to offer, and I don't want to sit on this uh, this one campus forever. But I'm also kind of pleased with what we've managed to do here. I'm actually really, really pleased with what we've managed to do here. I'm just going to move these guys around very quickly, because I do want to, uh, you know, I want to see what, they, uh, what they'd look like if they were, like, here. And I think the answer is that they look much better sort of right next to each other like that. This one does, however, need to go just a little bit down this way. I think that looks pretty good. So that gives us everything we want there. We could go ahead and put a bench right next to this. And it's also the end of the year. Let's look at the rewards. What did we do? We had no one graduate. We had a 93% pass rate. Two people failed. We didn't get any rewards or awards. That's fine. Can I add another course? No. Interesting. Okay. So long story short, we're kind of just doing the same thing that we did this year. Although apparently I need another lecture theater, another science lab, another VR lab, another scientography teacher, and another virtual normality teacher. Oh boy, that's a lot of things. I'll tell you what. I don't really feel like doing all that right now. I feel like leaving it there and jumping into another campus in the next video. So that is what I'm going to do. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. If you're new around here, do remember to click that subscribe button. It helps out the channel, lets you know when videos go live and all that good stuff. You've heard this before. You've been on YouTube. You know how this game works. And if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate if you went down there and clicked that little old like button, especially with it being the first episode of a new game and a new series here on the channel. With that all said, thank you very much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye